Close your eyes. Watch your breath. So you can see the movements of the mind when you have the breath as your frame of reference. And you have one frame of reference like this, and when the mind moves around, you see it very clearly. And then you can understand where it's going and why it's going. All too often we find ourselves off someplace and we wonder, how did we got there? Why did we go? It's because we weren't paying attention. If you pay attention, you can see these things more clearly. And if you have something clear to compare things with, something steady to compare things with, then it's a lot easier. So stay with the breath. Try to make the breath as comfortable as you can, all the way in, all the way out, so the mind is more willing to stay. And then be on the lookout. It's going to go, because that's his old habit. It's been going for who knows how long. That's what samsara is all about, is wandering around. This little wandering mind you have, and we can wander all kinds of places and get you reborn in all kinds of places, too. So you want to understand the process, so at least you can exert some control over it. So you can be very clear when the mind goes why it's going. And if you know it's going someplace you don't want it to go, you can stop it. Otherwise, we're like someone who's standing on the side of the road. Someone drives up in a car and says, jump in, and you just jump right in, and you don't even know who they are or where they're going. If you lived your life like that, you'd be dead by now. So you have to remember, the thoughts that come into the mind, not all of them are friends, not all of them are people you can trust. So you want to have a good, firm place to stand, a place where there's a sense of well-being, so you don't feel compelled to jump into everything that comes by. That right? way well, you get more in control about where this wandering is going to take you. And eventually you can find the spot where the mind doesn't have to wander anymore. <laughs>